Even if she was at full health, that would not have saved her. Some high res would not go amiss here, really. I think most of these attacks are, uh, are white element. Alright, Sergei next turn should be able to use his sane attack, and we will use it. Damn you to hell. Do you have to recover all? You do. Let's have you use that. This is dangerous because, of course, uh, this will increase the power of his attacks. Let's go ahead and switch over to Sergei. Hopefully he has enough to do two attacks. He does. Good, and you actually hit. Saints! What does it do? Wait, 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 go back. Armin Angel attacks the foes and heals the party. I like it. Let's do it. Oh. Oh my god. Yes. That's some pretty good stuff right there, my friends. We didn't kill him, but believe me, there will be other chances to kill people with, you know, those, to get the shiny things. It doesn't look so good. He's kind of twitching now. Alright, the first matter of business is to get rid of the, uh, the white field effect. Oh, no, or he can just die. That's fine, too. If you just want to kill over that... You know, I don't have a problem. The burning shrapnel bounces off our shoes, and it's a good day. We get another star point level. That's cool. Some magic. Some, a bunch of HP for both of you. That's good. You need more HP, clearly. More strength, because you need that, Marcy. Jesus. Fiznagate. I like the sound of that. Probably going to have to have a yellow element person to do that. Fortunately, Glenn is green. Alright, let's actually see if we can kill one of you bastards using a summon. I actually was able to dodge you even though I couldn't see you. That's pretty impressive. I found a yellow brooch. What do brooches do again? Yellow brooch. Green brooch. Uh, Anti-green and green status effects. That's right. Alright, I'll fight one of you. I'd like to kill you with saints. You may be white element, so it should be fairly easy. Okay, the field effect. Oh, no, you're red. Piss. Alright, well, the key to doing this... Sergey, you're a goddamn wrecking machine. Anyway, the key to doing this... As far as I remember, because I have done this before. Jesus. Uh, we need to get the entire field white. And we need to have everyone have enough stuff. So let's go ahead and have you do it, Marcy. We need them to get their levels. You need to not suck. Boop. Really not a big problem. Still could use some... Damn it, you people are too strong. Maybe I should use healing abilities. Jesus. Okay. From now on, no one gets to do a super happy attack, okay? We got more stones. We got stones from robots. Ro Robo stones. Okay, let's try this again. We got three enemies now, so perhaps that one in back will survive. The onslaught of the other two. What element is it? It's also red, no? Okay, good. It's white, so... Uh, we'll actually use that to our advantage. God damn you. It's a pretty sweet-looking robot right there. Why they have it just swooping around? Also, Jesus Christ, you face wrecker. Can you... Okay. 
It's hard to tell which one you've selected. Damn it. Glenn, you're only affected with those things if you can swap these goddamn robots. Alright, uh, you can just go ahead and sit on it. Marcy, it's time for you to get some levels. With this gizmotoid. Damn you! Of course you couldn't miss last time. Okay, you just did a regular attack. That's good. Hmm. We could get up there with this mini. The problem is if that stupid thing back there does a non-white attack. We'll probably be fine. Strong-minded? Strong-minded should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, just strong-mind you. Okay, good! <laughs> All part of my cunning plan, you doing an attack. You did zero damage. You fucking waste of time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave that one alive and go after this. Because, hey, we can probably get two if we kill this thing, right? Okay, I'm ready to do my saints, so let's summon the saints. We're definitely gonna kill that one robe on the left. We should kill the gyro blade as well. Also, welcome to the stream there, NFSM. You're just in time for... Well... From Harpoons from Heaven? No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, uh... Javelins from Heaven. That's the word. The Sky Romans punish these robots, too? I know! Goddamn Sky Romans. Oh, shit. Shiny's Halt! Da -da -da. Why are you so salty, robots? Because we hate you with saints. Alright, so now we need Glenn to do some of that green shit he does. Which is going to be a little harder on this one. Alright. Uh, we can't go through there, clearly. We got another robot here, though. Hey! We found one of those stupid black healing items. Go down? Yeah, sure, why not? Why the hell not? What kind of place is this? What is this? It's a button. Hmm. In the future, they will make bridges that are completely pointless. Can you press on any of this? Robo sewer wash. Operate the robot? Yes. Triangle to quit robot. Oh, what the? Dur, 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 dur. I forgot about this minigame. <laughs> Stupid robot. You fell off. Oh, the excitement, the romance, the danger of cleaning sewers as a robot. Found a white brooch. Well, that's good. I'm sure that Sergei found it, and it wasn't a robot. Oh, there's another thing. I must obtain all the things. Brooch. I found a cure-all. That's interesting. I wonder if that's an element that's reusable. Hope so. Sounds like a white element. Oh, the gratuitous speed of this thing. It's probably good it doesn't go faster, actually. Good job, Robert. So, in the future, did they use this freaking robot to operate this? Also, do not fall off. I don't know if it's possible, but I don't want to find out. Also, I can just quit now. Just quit now. Now do it with frame skip on. You know, I might be able to do that. It would take all of my, all of my concentration. Is there anything over here? No. That has buttons on it. I want to press them. Another one of you. What are you things? That thing looks like it has info. Okay, it's a door button. Okay. Well, that kind of looks like a security office, maybe. I'll buzz you in. Buzz. 
Oh, those are different enemies. What the heck are those? They look like some kind of exercise bikes, but they fly. I don't know. It's hard to say, really. Okay, so we got a way to the left, we got a way up. Where's this go? Nowhere. You want to fight, Mr. Robot? No? That's good. I wasn't interested at the moment. What's in? Go in the door. Ow. Another robot. Hmm. It's hard to tell when we're going to collide. It looks like we can just walk around here. Prizes? I like prizes. Prizes. Forget me not pot! Now that's a special item. Forget me not pot. Actually, that's something we can equip. Let's see. Where the hell is that thing? There it is. Forget me not pot. Memorizes monsters to be used with the doppelganger ability. So if uh, Trig or whatever her name is, if she's too weak for you, Sprig, 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 then you can actually equip this to somebody and they'll do essentially the same thing she did. So you can make her useful again if you really like Sprig. That's cool. Not something I plan on using, but it's nice to have about. Okay, let's open the door. Quick! It's advancing! Lasers, huh? Oh, piss. I thought it would just stop me. Well, that's not that great of security. It's not like this thing tracks me or anything. Security level 2 locked. Okay. That's fine. Also, I'm completely aimless at this point, so don't expect any fluid gameplay. Ooh, this looks interesting. It's a map of the entire archipelago of El Nido. Originally, El Nido was nothing but an ocean. The El Nido archipelago is artificial is purely artificial, created by fate. Think about that. It was remo a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands blessed by nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, the Earth Dragon Isle, or, hmm, that's interesting, the main islands of El Nido, perhaps. The Earth Dragon Isle, oh no, it's probably the center island. Never mind. The main island of El Nido, the Black Dragon's Isle, the Water Dragon's Isle, the Black Dragon's Isle, the development of the elements using the energy of the natural world, the distribution of the memory terminal devices called the Wreckers of Fate that could survey and guide people's lives. The research center staff, who had their memories of the future erased, left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. Holy shit. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left the research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with the, the flame on the night of the storm. 14 years ago? Hmm. The boy. It doesn't recognize me as the boy, or Sergei as the boy. Where's the lock release for the uh, elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. It's probably here? Releasing lock. There you go. Anything else over here we can fiddle with? No, oh, just a nice little room. And, you know, an incredible revelation that, holy shit, the world's artificial. Created by something called bait. And they don't seem to be using it in the usual sense, do they? Whatever these creatures are. Hmm. Where's all this then? That looks like a chest. There's a mysterious being inside! We have to bring someone here who knows what this is. I forget who the fuck that is. Enter lock release code. Uh, we'll go with the standby, of course. 
No, piss. Alright, I think it's the old look at the camera to figure out what the thing is. It could be anybody. I don't know what a record of fate is. Grow bike, level 7 tech. I thought so. I was pretty sure it was grow bike we need to bring there. Why would we need to bring grow bike there, folks? Huh? Huh? Nobody knows. Uh, third floor? Sure. Probably should have gone down first. I almost regret that. Oh well. I guess we could. Nothing stopping us. Let's do it. Go ahead and speed up a little bit. Yeah, I wanted to see what was over here. This looks like a separate area. Oh, hmm. A dock, hey. It's one of them things. So we could go and get Grow Bikes thing if we wanted. Not really feeling it right now. Maybe later. Nothing on this side. What's up here? Oh, not that. Got stuck. Uh, it looks like a whole bunch of jack shit. Oh, hello. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will be able to we'll have complete control over history and in a sense become a presence much like God. If so, what is the meaning? What meaning is there? In the history of mankind. But it's too late. Now, we can't afford to fail this experiment. If for some reason anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us, becoming regular annihilation energy. Who knows what the conse consequences will be? Utter annihilation? Maybe. I don't know. I'm no scientist. Is that anything? Looks like that should be something. Okay, well that was a thing. Not a good thing, just a thing. Alright, let's head on up. Well, we could go to the basement, I suppose. I think of this as I jump onto the, la onto the elevator. Well, let's see what's in the basement real quick. Oh, I need to get a central lab zone card. Okay, well, fuck that. I guess we're good here. Quick. What do we got? Is there another lab in here? It appears there is. Hello there, friend. The DNA records are poems and music. Let's see. Adenine and thymine. Guanine and cytosine. Rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. I wonder if the life forms are just dreaming an endless flow of music. Perhaps they are. Lavos. Oh man, that's out of nowhere. An extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago. On the timeline that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface, sleeping and consuming the planet's energy until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse in 1999. Or at least on the eve. You know, whatever. There are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, the legendary ancient magical civilization of Zeal came into contact with Lavos, and, you know, that did happen. That fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal was never proven. So, up to this very day, the theory cannot be confirmed. On some timelines, Lavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and has brought the world into ruins. However, a group of young time travelers saw their planet's his or saw that where the planet's history was heading and through their actions rewrote time, aka the events of Chrono Trigger. This very research facility exists on a new timeline. 
In the world where, thanks to the defeat of Lavos by the Young Adventurers, the apocalypse never happened. On a temporal vector where civil human civilization continued to evolve unhampered. All the data on Lavos was obtained from tracing different parallel world possibilities has proven to be volatile with fluctuating discrepancies. Well, that's a uh, pain. Also, I need a little water. One moment. Oh my goodness. Perhaps at this point in time, it is ne nearly impossible to obtain the true information about Lavos and, unless